how to create an e-commerce store built on WordPress WooCommerce plugin in this video session we're ready to install WooCommerce plugin now at this moment remember this option when you install WordPress you can go to setting you can press on reading because ideally you want to discourage search engines from indexing your site because you're still building it next because we're using WordPress there are many many different plugins for maintenance mode I tend to use ignite up if we were to use it this is how the front end will look so we're looking at ranker.com and I already do have a test site so I use this for testing purposes I have different ones as well so I've installed ignite up plugin which means when someone visits the website this is what they're gonna see because we're still building it so I would strongly encourage you to use a plugin as well ignite up is popular but there is many many different ones all you need to do is just add new plugin and perhaps search maintenance mode and here you have many many plugins that means install one because it's smart you do not want people including search engines to see your website till it's ready that's why you want to install a plugin also go to reading settings reading and select discourage search engines from indexing your site okay select both options because it's smart next now yeah, don't get confused because i've got two different sites here one is ranker.com the other one is the test site here i'm going to select add new plugin and select woocommerce there is many different ways for us to install woocommerce let's select install now that's install let's activate as soon as we press activate it's gonna give us run setup wizard we can select it, that if we want or we can test drive the future WooCommerce let's dismiss that because we don't need that here we may get warning saying okay if our theme contains outdated copies and so on let's ignore that as well because here we want to set up WooCommerce at this stage so let's run the setup wizard for WooCommerce here it's gonna tell us okay where's your store because you may sell things locally because I reside in Australia let me select Australia but remember this is setting up your store okay so my address I tend to keep rank your details private let's select now when I say private because ranker is very popular sometimes my um, website visitors think that they can call me and so on if you would like to get more services or consultation then perhaps you would consider hiring me instead because imagine answering 30 plus thousand people that's going to take three, four lifetimes. Make sense? Here, what currency do you accept payments in? Let's select USD. I plan to sell both physical or digital products. Now, for Rankia website, I'm actually selling uh, WooCommerce products digitally. That means I have available great wordpress plugins that i would like to offer digitally that means i'm not creating an e-commerce store selling t-shirts for example okay so that is this here so if you're just selling digital products 
then you select I sell digital products. If you want to sell physical products whereby you're sending out, you select physical products. I will select digital products. One way or another, it doesn't matter. We're still setting up WooCommerce. We can always change any of these settings. Okay, so I'd like to uncheck this for time being and let's press, let's go. So I've provided my details. Here it's saying, okay, what type of payment processor would you like to use? Except credit cards, one, three, five plus currencies, right? That's why I'd like to use Stripe. Set up Stripe for me using this. No, I've already set it up Stripe. That's why we've created the previous video session because these were important. Here, set up Stripe using this. No, I've already got that so I can change these details. Here it's saying set up PayPal. No, don't set up PayPal WooCommerce setup. I'm going to do that manually, which we already have. Okay. Collect payments from customers offline. That may be of interest, but usually that's not selected. But the option is there for you to accept payments in a different manner. Let's imagine you're offering services through your e-commerce store. That could happen. Perhaps you're going out to see your customers and then getting paid. And they may pay you by cash and so on. If that's the case, that's what you would choose. Okay. So now I've selected Stripe and PayPal and let's press continue. Next here, you can read through it. I'm not going to go through it. MailChimp is a great way to build your customer base as you're growing your e-commerce store. I use MailChimp up to 2000 subscribers. It's for free. Now, if you end up getting more subscribers as you grow your business, then surely for a small fee, you can use MailChimp as well. Facebook, I do use Facebook as well. That's why in the first video session for these tutorial series, we wanted to have certain things in place. As in, if you want to promote your business, then you should have already gotten your Facebook business page, okay? Automated taxes, uh, if you're charging tax, Let's imagine you're shipping through Australia. Then if you ship to Queensland, that's going to be different tax rate, so to speak. Okay. Well, these are not shipping. Sorry. These are to do with uh, country tax. In Australia, we pay GST 10% to whatever the cost of the product is. So automated taxes, WooCommerce is telling me, you know what? Do you want us? To calculate that automatically for you. Okay, I made an honest mistake. Remember, automated taxes in this example, it's to do with your government tax, so to speak. Okay, manage your stores, reports, and monitor key metrics with new and improved interface and dashboard. WooCommerce admin, no, nah, I don't want to select that, but I can skip this stage. Let me skip this stage instead. Here it's saying connect your store with Jack pack to enable extra features. No, I want to skip that as well. I am not a fan of Jetpack because there's other ways to accomplish things. Here you want to subscribe to WooCommerce. No, thank you. I've already done that. You can at this moment create a product which we will skip because doing that requires a bit more insights for you instead of doing one in this video session. Okay. So right now, everything is ready. That means our WooCommerce plugin is set up. That means if I refresh my WordPress dashboard, I will see options for WooCommerce. And the settings that we have modified come from WooCommerce settings options. That means our address details currency we wanted so the plugin setup settings before was all to do with what we're seeing here and in the next video session we're going to see what these are all about as well 
and I'll talk with you in the next video session.